messing around with some old lighting in the garage. Um, I have these uh, fluorescent tubes, um, shop lights, whatever you want to call them, and they have two ballast ones that run, one that runs each light, and they they burn out. One burn out, and another one burn out. So this has just been sitting in the uh, what am I gonna do with it pile. So I decided to actually um, upgrade it to a newer style ballast. Not necessarily a newer style, but this is a T8 ballast. That's these uh, skinnier lights versus the older T12s. Um, it's getting impossible to find anything for T12s anymore. They're trying to phase them out. So picked these, picked up a handful of these used ones off eBay for five, six bucks a piece. So I'm gonna wire these in to this existing one. Um, the framework's all there, so I mean, you got these little ends that just touch the two little pins on the end of the light bulb. So that's all you need. It just needs to be wired. Um, the nice thing about ballast is they always show the wiring diagram right on them. You see right there, pretty pretty straightforward, not too complicated. But I'll start just by, you know, these, these this is not meant to be rebuilt. These cheap lights that are twenty bucks or so, twenty five bucks, these are not meant to be rebuilt. You know, they're meant to throw away. Uh, I was gonna try to actually fix the uh, the old transformer ballast type thing, but they use these weird film canisters, dry film canisters, and you can't find them anywhere. Nobody, kn so they must make them just for the lighting industry, and they're not replaceable. So, and if you the few that I did find were way more than the whole unit even cost, and there's two of them with one on each side of this unit, and one there, and one over there. Really could have been much more straightforward after popping off the caps. I'm just going to, uh, apparently they're fly. Middle of winter they're fly living. I wondered what they did. Apparently they live in light fixtures. Not anymore. A fly doesn't get to live. It's 20 degrees outside and there's a fly living in the garage in the light fixture. Um, I'm just going to snip all this off. And then I'll pull them out of the little thing so it doesn't... Doesn't matter how the old one's wired because we're gonna wire the new one completely different. Old wire. It's even aluminum wire. It's not even copper. That's how cheap they make it. So that's garbage. This is all garbage. We'll make this so we can just push the wires back in. Almost, it's like those. Um, if you ever wired an electrical outlet, the outlets that just have the little push-in tabs. And I like that. And it's going to break off the little plastic. Yep. So it broke those off. I did the other side and it didn't. So I'll just re-plastic weld that on there real fast. I'll just pull out this little, this little light bulb retainer doodad. And there just happens to be a thing on that both sides. So I'll just swap it over to the new side so I can just slide my new wire in there. In case this side's stretched out at all. Just took the soldering iron real fast. Just tack welded this little cap back in place. Not that it's really important, but yeah, I guess it holds those little things in. Now I can start rewiring it, reassembling this thing. And most of these lights is already, you know, a standard fluorescent light will actually have a ballast up in here. Will actually be space for it. This one does not have space for it. This little doodad is supposed to cover that to look pretty, but it sits flush down in there, and this sits just a little bit proud. So uh, I'm going to still just jam this in here, and I'm just going to cut this and put it on either side of this because I really don't care if this shows. The fluorescent lights aren't pretty anyway, so I don't really care. Take the blue, it wires up. Blue. Red to two of the other sides. So because the yellow wire has to be pigtailed, so I have both yellow wires going to one and then they pigtail over there. To make pigtails, um, it's nice that they put little release sizes on both sides. So I just drilled a hole right in the bottom. You could just wire nut this together, but I'll just insert the top one and then I'll just insert one in this little hole I drilled in the bottom 
and just pigtail it over to the other one. And I'll do that with this one as well. Then I'll plastic weld this little cap back on. The power wire is pretty straightforward. I just butt connected the uh, hot neutral and the ground was already attached so now it's just a matter of snapping all this stuff back together and tucking this all in and seeing if it works. Insert our new, our new T8 bulbs. And plug it in. Let's see what happens. No, there it goes. There we go, I just cut those pieces, jammed them in. Um, I really don't care if that, if you can see that. The little piece actually wedged in there, okay, and it'll probably stay. So now it's ready to go into service, into the garage. Nice. Supposedly these T8s are uh, a lot more energy efficient with the amount of light they put off. We'll see. Probably nothing you'll ever notice, but you, it's almost impossible to find T12 ballast anymore, so that's why I went with these T8s. So I'll just write on here that, well, I'll know, but I'll write on there too that it only takes T, T8 ballast bulbs now. Let there be light! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down. And subscribe if you haven't. You're just crazy if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.